How's it going all my friends out there? Well, I want to make uh, a little more clear to everyone why things are really the way they are. To first understand that, you have to know where the beginning was and how they became that way. They became that way from fallen angels. They became that way from offspring between human women and angels that broke their charge and had children with them. Those children became, uh, well they were beautiful in the beginning until God cursed them and made them very ugly to look at. And they were gifted, talented, had powers. Most of them we call giants. So the Book of Enoch will tell you in specifics it happened after the sons of men had multiplied in those days that daughters were born to them, elegant and beautiful. And when the angels, the sons of heaven, beheld them, they became enamored of them, saying to each other, Come, let us select for ourselves wives from the progeny of men. Let us beget children. Then their leader, Semyaza, said to them, He thought he might be going it alone. They'd back out. He says, I fear that you may perhaps be indisposed to the performance of this enterprise, and that I alone shall suffer for so grievous a crime. But they answered him, and they said, We all swear, and bind ourselves by mutual execrations, that we will not change our intention, but execute our projected undertaking. So they all bound together, and said, Let's go take their women, and let's have offspring of our own. They swore all together and bound themselves by mutual execrations. Their whole number, it tells you, was 200. Descended upon Artis, which is the top of Mount Armon, which I think if you translate that, that's uh, Mount Hermon. <clears throat> that mountain, therefore, was called Armon because they had sworn upon it and bound themselves by mutual execrations. These are the names of their chiefs, and he will tell you who they are. Enoch will, and he did. Semyaza, the leader of the 200. Rechabermiel, Echabiel, Tamiel, Remuel, Danel, Ezkiel, Sherechniel, Asael, Armurs, Betral, Anan, Zavib, Semsavil, Ertel, Chirel, Yamiel, Erzial. The prefects of 200 angels and the remainder that were with them. These are the main ramrods. Then they took wives, each one of them, and with who they cohabitated, they taught them the women sorcery, incantations, dividing of roots and trees. Dividing of roots and trees can be interpreted now as pharmacy, pharma, mixture of things, dru uh, drugs, potions, etc. And the women got pregnant by them and brought forth giants. Their stature was 300 cubics. They devoured all which we could do, the labor of men produced. We harvested the food and everything, and brought it to them, and, uh, well, they were very voracious. We couldn't keep up. It became impossible to feed them. And then they turned themselves against men and started eating us. Cannibalism. They began to injure birds, beasts, reptiles, and fishes to eat their flesh one after another and to drink their blood. Then the earth reproved the unrighteous. We go into chapter 8, more descriptive. As they yell, taught men to make swords, knives, shields, and breastplates. What do you do with them? He taught them to war, to kill and plunder take the spoils of whomever you wished. 
for your own. The fabrication of mirrors, the workmanship of bracelets and ornaments. There you go there, that's fashion. You know, that's uh, jewelry. Use of paint. Beautifying of the eyebrows. There are your cosmetics back in the old days for the women and some of the men. Use of stones of every valuable and select kind. Well, there you got a, a system there of value placed upon shiny stones. You know, maybe some of them were gold nuggets and what? All sorts of dyes. So the world became altered. Impiety increased, fornication multiplied, and they transgressed and corrupted all their ways. Amazarok taught all the sorcerers and dividers of roots. Armors taught the solution of sorcery. Barkyal taught the observer observers of the stars. Akabil taught signs. Tamil taught astronomy. And as Saradadel taught the motion of the moon, and men being destroyed cried out, and their voice reached to the heavens. But we were getting eat. They were plundering us. <clears throat> Michael and Gabriel, Raphael, Suryal, and Uriel, good angels looked down from heaven and saw the quantity of the blood which was shed iniquity which was done upon it and said one to another it is the voice of their cries the earth deprived of her children has cried even to the gate of heaven and now to you O you holy one of heaven the souls of men complain saying obtain justice for us with the most high and they said to their lord the king you are the lord of lords god of gods king of kings the throne of your glory is forever and ever and forever and ever is your name sanctified and glorified you are blessed and glorified you've made all things you possess power over all things and all things are open and manifest before you you behold all things and nothing can be concealed from you you've seen what azazel has done and he's taught every species of iniquity upon earth, and has disclosed to the world all the secret things which are done in the heavens. Semyaza has taught sorcery to whom you have given authority over those who are associated with him. They've gone together to the daughters of men, have lain with them, have become polluted, and have discovered crimes to them. The women, likewise, have brought forth giants. Thus has the whole earth been filled with blood and with iniquity. And now behold the souls of those who are dead cry out, and complain even to the gates of heaven. Their groaning ascends, nor can they escape from the unrighteousness which is committed on earth. You know all things before they exist. You know these things, and what has been done by them, yet you do not speak to us. What on account of these things ought we to do to them? And the Most High and Great Holy One spoke, and sent Arthialyar, to the son of Lamech, saying to him, In my name, conceal yourself. Then explain to him the consummation which is about to take place, for all the earth shall perish, the waters of a deluge shall come over the whole earth, and all things which are in it shall be destroyed. Teach him how he may escape, and how his seed may remain in all the earth. That would be Noah. <clears throat> the flood. Again the Lord said to Raphael, bind Azazel hand and foot, and cast him into darkness, and opening the desert, which is in Dudiel, cast him in there. So you get some angels, went after a fallen angel, they bound him, he's placed in darkness, Throw upon him hurled and pointed stones covering him with darkness. There shall he remain forever. Cover his face so he can't see the light. And in the great day of judgment let him be cast into the fire. Restore the earth which the angels have corrupted and announce life to it that I may revive it. All the sons of men shall not perish in consequence of every secret by which the watchers have destroyed in which they have taught their offspring. All the earth has been corrupted by the effects of the teachings of Azazel. To him, therefore, ascribe the whole crime. To Gabriel also the Lord said, Go to the biters, 
to the reprobates, to the children of fornication, and destroy the children of fornication, the offsprings of the watchers, from among men. Bring them forth and excite them one against another. Let them perish by mutual slaughters, for length of days shall not be theirs. They shall all entreat you, but their fathers shall not obtain their wishes respecting them, for they shall hope for eternal life, and that they may live each of them five hundred years. To Michael, likewise the Lord said, Go and announce his crime to Semyaza, and to the others are with him, who have been associated with women, that they might be polluted with all their impurity, when all their sons shall be slain, when they shall see the perdition of the beloved, bind them for seventy generations underneath the earth, even to the day of judgment and of consummation, until the judgment, the effect of which will last forever, be completed. And they shall be taken away into the lowest depths of the fire and torments, and in confinement shall they be shut up forever. Immediately after this shall he, together with them, burn and perish, that shall be bound into the consummation of many generations. Destroy all the souls addicted to dalliance, and the offspring of the watchers, for they have tyrannized over mankind. Let every oppressor perish from the face of the earth, let every evil work be destroyed. The plan of righteousness and of rectitude appear, and its produce become a blessing. Righteousness and rectitude shall forever be planted with delight. And then shall all the saints give thanks, and live until they have begotten a thousand children, while the whole period of this youth and their Sabbath shall be completed in peace. In those days all the earth should be cultivated in righteousness. It should be wholly planted with trees and filled with benediction. Every tree of delight should be planted in it. You get the, you getting the drift now? I know it's hard for you to, to understand. It's kind of wild to wrap your mind around giants, but it's true. What you need to understand is what demons and evil spirits actually are. Demons and evil spirits, if you you can go ahead and read the, in all the chapters in the book of Enoch and you'll find out when he sent a flood and he killed the giants their bodies died but their life force didn't their life force was released upon the death of their body and that life force became known as the evil spirits. Those are the evil spirits that tempt all men to, to do evil. And you can't see them. I've got some more things from the Book of Jubilees, Jubilees and from the Emerald Tablets of Thoth, which I'm going to go into. And uh, well, This will be Chapter 1, and I'll go into that in Chapter 2. But that is what happened that's that's how we got the way we are we got taught the wrong things the wrong way by some guys that didn't want to do what God wanted him his wishes to be now his intention and his plan was originally set up you know we had the two different things we had a war in heaven and we had some angels that went renegade against God in that but this is a whole separate thing here. These are 200 more guys, angels, that went renegade. And this is what shaped us. And these things that are loose because their bodies were killed. At least most of them that I've been able to find out about. They're your life force is all around. That's the little guy on your other shoulders tempting you to do bad things. It's not always you. It's the, the temptation. So I'm about to run out of time here, so I'll get with uh, Jubilees and Thoth in part two. See you in a bit.